those who have recovered from COVID-19 to donate convalescent plasma and help save lives. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela is live to share her message. Doctors and staff here at Vitalant say that there's a shortage of plasma due to the high spikes of cases and lack of donations. I want you to meet Bernie and Mary Esther Minhades. Both are hospitalized while battling COVID-19. Bernie being admitted on Monday and Mary Esther currently in the ICU. Their daughter Sandra Spencer says her mother is in dire need of plasma. According to the data, according to data from the city's Department of Public Health, there are currently over 6,000 recoveries from the virus in El Paso County, meaning thousands of opportunities to donate plasma. is due to again that large spike of coronavirus cases and the volume of plasma that was declining rapidly at the same time. Now Spencer says she hopes raising awareness could help save more lives including her mothers and fathers. For more information on donating plasma if you have recovered from the virus go ahead and visit ktsm.com and just click on this story. Live in West El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News. All right, Tatiana, thank you. And speaking of those plasma shortages, local hospitals urging those who have recovered from the virus to donate plasma. In a statement from University Medical Center, officials say in part, quote, we administer it as needed for patients and are able to obtain enough. However, those supplies always need to be replenished, similar to blood. The hospitals of Providence also sending us a statement saying, quote, we continue to have adequate supply of convalescent plasma, plasma, but are mindful that the supplies are limited and managing accordingly to ensure that patients benefit from the treatments.